Hi, I'm Dave Bergman, IPC Vice President of International Relations, and I have this week's technical question online. Now, this week's question came out of uh, some translation things that we were doing and translating 610 into Chinese, and I wanted to bring you some new requirements that uh, have come out in the IPC A610E. Uh, this is related to a mounting of a board into a, another board where you're actually taking the daughter board uh, with some edge connectors and mounting it into holes on the motherboard and soldering them in. And so in this case, uh, the committees have decided this new technology or new way of doing things, uh, they're not sure what the reliability is for class 3, so there's no class 3 or high rel requirements. It is acceptable for class 1 and 2, and uh, specifically uh, there are some, some requirements for class 1 and 2, and it's looking for uh, perpendicular mounting, so it's got to be uh, at a 90 degree angle, and you want it flush to the board. And so these two photographs are indic indicated the, the two requirements there. And then from the standpoint of the soldering, the, the notch that goes down into the motherboard, uh, there's a, a, a land on it to be soldered. Uh, that land is indicated by the uh, designator L. Uh, the land is on the daughter board. And the requirement for the solder joint or the resulting fillet uh, is designated as X, and that changes based on the class. So if it's class two, uh, the committees have indicated that they would like to see that be 75% of the land. Uh, if it is class one, it's at 50%. So it is a new, uh, a new requirement uh, that wasn't in, in 610D, it's now in 610E, and so you'll see the documents do change over time, and we will see what happens in the future for a class three requirement for this type of technology, because it's not there. Uh, that's this week's technical question online, and I'm Dave Bergman. If you have a question you'd like us to answer,